Why do Santa Claus wear a red suit and have a big white beard? Why is it commonly believed that the French Emperor Napoleon was so exceptionally short? And why does the Republican Party have an elephant as a symbol and the Democrats a donkey? All these questions and many more are being answered in my book Political Cartoons from Cave Paintings to Charlie Hebdo. I chose to write this book about the past, present and future of political cartoons so that people can understand why they exist, why they are important and why we need to be aware of this democratic art form so that it won't be stopped by small interest groups or covered news corporations. I talked to important voices in the field today, among them Fleming Rusa, the Danish editor who published the Mohammed cartoons back in 2005, and Charlie Hebdo editor Riss, who was there at the attack in 2015 and was survived by playing dead. Caricature is a close cousin to propaganda, and racist drawings can be used many of the same tools. Therefore, I also examine anti-Semitic and racist cartoons and show how they have been used to spread racist ideas. In conclusion, I argue that visual satire is, is as important today as ever because it forces us to think, what does this drawing try to tell me? And even more importantly, what do I think of this topic? At its best, visual satire makes us think and laugh at the same time, and that's no small feat. <laughs>